So data limited fisheries, in addition to what the name implies, are really those fisheries across the globe that lack the infrastructure to perform adequate assessment and management techniques. They lack the technical expertise and the resources and the capacity, and especially the money too, to perform what we typically think of as conventional assessment and management approaches. So across the globe, there are about, I would estimate about 10 to 15,000 data limited fisheries. So it's, so it's so important to get information on the status of fish stocks and fish populations because we know that those fisheries that actually get measured, meaning that they have stock assessments performed, those fisheries typically get better managed. There's better regulations and there's better enforcement of those fisheries. And, and the opposite is true as well. Those fisheries that don't get measured, they typically go unmanaged and unregulated. And therefore those people, those communities that depend on well-managed and well-regulated fisheries, those people suffer. We do know how to assess these fisheries, these data limited fisheries, and we also know how to manage these data limited fisheries. Our partners across the globe have developed numerous solutions to solve this problem. The problem is getting these solutions to the people that need them most, and that's where our working group is coming in. We're developing a framework that will allow folks on the ground, community members, scientists, managers, fishermen, to be charged with assessing and managing their fisheries with these data limited tools, these simple approaches that can help them understand the status of their resource on the ground. So our working group is comprised of a diversity of fishery scientists and fishery practitioners. We have folks who have spent their lifetimes developing techniques and tools to manage and assess small scale developing world fisheries. We have a fleet of postdocs and graduate students who are so interested and involved in this process and eager to make a difference in the world. We have academic scientists. We have NGOs represented. We have government agencies from several different countries. Together we have folks spanning eight unique countries across the globe that are represented on our team. And together our team is bringing their experience, their expertise, and we're able to leverage all of these bright minds in one working group to develop a common solution to this global challenge. So I'm extremely excited about this working group and the products that we're developing because I think this is the first time in which a common framework is being built that's transparent, it's user friendly, it's simple to use, and I think it can actually be applied on the ground to the people that most need it. So fishermen and the community members who depend on well-regulated and well-managed fisheries, they need tools like this in order to maintain and sustain their livelihoods. And that's why I'm so excited about this opportunity, is because I think we can maintain fishing and fish for community members and the global population as we move into the 21st century.